Okay, welcome back to another video everybody. I am Sam Price from Oxus Skimboards here in the Bay of Islands, New Zealand. Today we're talking flatland skimboards or more specifically the new Slip Easy colorways. There's not too much changed here. Um, original, same original layups, um, but a couple different traction color changes. Right, so I'm gonna keep this as simple for you. Firstly, we will look at what the Slip Easy is. Now, the Slip Easy was the original shape that I came up with here in New Zealand for flatland skimboarding. Uh, to start with, what you're looking at is a pretty standard twin tip shape. Um, these come in a range of sizes. I won't rattle them off right here for the video because it's just a bit of jumbled information that you can easily find at the online store um, at oxyskimbles.co.nz. But this one right here in this new colorway is the standard regular layup for the Slip Easy. We have a three stage directional rocker. The S in the traction is always the tail of the board. Basically, you can run this board any way you want, but what you'll find by running um, the nose of the board has more rocker so it will be slower it will be a slower board running it effectively backwards although it will still skim perfectly fine um, the layup of these has been tweaked a lot through the years here in the regular layup I like I prefer the regular layup as opposed to what I will show you in a few seconds in the T model layup we have what we have right here is a sandwich of composite materials. We have a Formica. I will link a video uh, to the Formica video up here. There is a 0.7 mil Formica sandwich top and bottom. You then have will work from the bottom up. We have the Formica on the base followed by a thin fiberglass layer ply, fiberglass layer ply, Formica on the top traction what this makes for is an exceptionally durable responsive flexes well there is a little bit of flex in these wood boards but it still remains a light feeling light enough for wood and very responsive what you don't want is the board flexing too much to basically create adhesion to the ground and you also want it strong enough um, to stand up to any form of abuse you can put through the board. I think the regular layup here is the perfect mixture to me of all of that. Um, the regular layup is available in two sizes, medium and large. As I mentioned just before, you can jump on the online store and find your weight range for them. Quick commercial break time, if you are looking for one of the best boards in the business, get along to oxyskimboards.co.nz where you'll find a huge range to suit all sizes, all types, all levels of riders, flatland skimming and wave skimming. All boards are handmade here in the Bay of Islands, New Zealand, and everything can be viewed on the website and is available to ship to your door immediately. Now, back to the video. And what we have right here is the team model layout. Now this, the outline of this board is a little bit shorter while still retaining a bit of width of the slightly larger size. And the team model drops down into what I say is the feather flex layout. And now this is just a slight drop in the composite layering of this board. What we have, like the other one, is that Formica base followed by a composite layer of fiberglass ply, slightly lighter fiberglass layout ply, mica traction and that is the construction of the board what this means for you is a slightly flexier feel as opposed to the regular layout this through the years has actually been preferred by a lot of people I personally do not but what I personally ride um, I personally ride a regular layout in the team model shape the team model shape is slightly a bit more buttery and I also leave the sizing on the team model a bit more open to your input. Um, I'm not going to say you need to be X amount of weight or whatever, the, the, just the weight range is kept more open for your own interpretation. There is a small and a medium in that. Typically, you'll be dropping down a size of board effectively for the team model, with the small being quite a small board, which is really good for progressive skimboarding. Um, flip tricks, if you're that way inclined, it doesn't mean it's a great surface planer board because of the small shape. If you're in the market for a really great flatland board, maybe something just to keep at home, a good hack board, something that you can run along shelly and rocky beaches. These will scratch up and these will wear out, but you pretty much can't damage them. They are super durable, super responsive, and long lasting board that you can really beat the snot out of. Um, I rate these very highly just as a great all round skim board 
or flatland and shallow water. You will not be disappointed with the performance of one of these. Um, if you're into rails and logs and things like that, they are the board, um, as opposed to probably the cheaper, flexier, softer item of the Gromlin. There are a couple other color, color options on the website, uh, which you can you can feel free to jump along to oxyskimboards.co.nz. I do have a whole host of other videos on the playlist that is popping up top. A lot of other stuff can be found on the website. A lot of other board options are found on the website. Um, and lastly, I want to finish this video with, if you're looking to improve your skimboarding, you cannot underestimate the importance of just going skimboarding, keeping it simple and going out there for the enjoyment of it. Feel free to drop any comments you have down below or video suggestions. Get along to oxyskimboards.co.nz. There's a huge range of skimboards that are available for all of you guys out there. I'm Sam Price. I'll see you at the beach.